I'm here with Pastor David Morrison, uh, executive pastor here at the NAS and uh, part of the preaching team. Yeah. And we're going to be coming to you today talking about uh, the need for God's people to take action. Um, as we pray, there's sometimes that people pray, but they don't really put that into action or do anything with it. So why, why did you choose this particular passage, Pastor David? Yeah, it's actually something kind of near and dear to my heart, especially as we've seen, you know, we've done mission trips in this church. We've yeah. seen people go out and serve. And I think one of the most touching things we found during this COVID situation um, is when we've had the opportunity to actually take action, to yeah. be the hands and feet of Jesus, as the Bible says. Uh, and like it says in James, faith without works is dead, right? So action is a vital, important part of our faith. Yeah, James, I love that passage because he says, uh, you tell me you have faith, wonderful. I'll show you my faith by what I do. And so living that out becomes so important to us, especially during this time of COVID. A lot of people have kind of withdrawn. We've, right. we've pulled back. We've not gotten out. It's almost like we've taken a wait and see approach. Mm -hmm. And I would say that during the time that everybody is waiting and seeing, if as the church we're out in front and we're telling people about what's going on, we're sharing the gospel with others, we are meeting the needs of others, people can begin to see God's love in action. And so it's time for the church to step up. Right, right. I, I can't remember which saint it was, but they said, you know, preach every day. Yeah. If necessary, use words. Yeah, St. Francis. St. Francis, yeah. yeah. Okay, I love his prayer and everything yeah. that, uh, that he stands for. Um, but yeah, it's time for the church to take action. This is our opportunity, rather. Right? Like you said, yeah. let's just not sit back and see how things turn out. Uh, but really, our faith is something that's meant to be lived out publicly. Yeah. Uh, this last weekend, you gave a message, or a couple weekends ago, whatever, mm -hmm. uh, a message about privatized faith, how yeah. the book of Revelation talks about Jesus confronts some churches that one of them, the church in Thyatira, mm -hmm. right? Did I say yeah, that right? I think so. Okay, the church in Thyatira. Just act like it's correct. <laughs> that's what I've learned. I just say it as though it's right, and then people go, oh, okay. Yeah, and then people will quote you and yeah, say, that's yeah. what my pastor says. So. Yeah. <laughs> they, uh, they had this issue with privatized faith, where you had talked about the fact that uh, people were in the church, and they were trying to follow Jesus, but then at their workplace, they had to follow these work guilds yeah. and follow these other gods. Yeah. Is that is that accurate? Yeah, that's it. That's what they had to do. So they were trying to they live one way at home and one way at work and their their faith was put into action at home but at work it was kind of more put on the back burner. Yeah, and uh, they kind of lived in these two separate worlds and sometimes we do that. Uh, sometimes we live in different places. Sometimes me and I'm a great Christian at church but mm -hmm. Man, when I'm on the road, yeah, <laughs> it's a different story. Or, or when I'm at work, or just don't have one of those fish things on your bumper, <laughs> so people know you're a Christian when you drive like that. No, don't, nope. don't do that. <laughs> your tip for the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if it's okay, yeah. uh, one of our scripture passages, yeah. uh, is actually found from the Sermon on the Mount. Yeah, Matthew chapter five, mm -hmm. uh, and Jesus says this, and I, I think it's really interesting. Matthew chapter five. Uh, I'm gonna start with verse 14, and I am out of the NIV okay. today. Uh, you are the light. Of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. And this is my favorite part here. In the same way, let your light shine before men that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Yeah. That's awesome stuff to know that, that we can. Be that city on a hill. We can be that light on the stand. Yeah. Um, I think he goes on and talks about being salt, and salt brings flavoring to things. How do we, how do we do that in our life? To talk about our faith but not do anything about it right. is like you you quoted in James. It's dead. I mean, it's nothing to it. Yeah. So why do it then cover it up? Yeah. And try to hide it, right? right. Um, when we've discovered what we found in Jesus, we have a responsibility to share. It's a calling. It's not an optional thing. It is literally a part of our faith. It's part of who we are. And so we privatize our faith uh, when we start to say, well, you know, I'm just, just me and God are good, but I'm not going to live it out. Yeah. Um, it creates a sort of dissonance yeah. inside of us uh, where we have conflict and we're not actually able to live out what God is actually calling us to do. Yeah. Um, and so just to build off what you're saying, you said earlier, this is a time where a lot of people are sitting back. Right. And I would just encourage you, wherever you're at, with whatever's going on today, whether you're at home, work, homeschooling kids, or uh, whatever you're doing, is there an opportunity for you as a believer to take action, to take steps in your faith, to share what God has planted inside of you? Yep. Uh, it could be a lot of different things, but you need to be faithful when He's calling you. Yeah. So one of the things we're going to ask you to do, those of you that are watching, 
is take time now to pray about that. Take time throughout the day to pray not only that God would show you how to take action, um, but part of what we're doing as we're gathering, Pastor David, is praying yeah. for ourselves, but we're praying for our church and the church around the world. Right. So pray that God will give boldness to others in the church, uh, not only at Grove City Church in Nazarene, not, not only the Naz, uh, but the church around the world, that people would have boldness to take action and share their faith with others. Um, that's how, during this time of pandemic, there won't be a dissonance between mm-hmm. what we say and how we live. People will begin to see things coming together. And so if you're looking for places um, that you don't know how to pray about that, Pastor David just quoted a scripture, and there are three or four others uh, for today. You can find them in the link at thenaz.church slash prayer. Um, if you look at the prayer guide, go down to the day on uh, God's people to take action, praying for God's people to take action, mm-hmm. and, and just pray those verses of scripture. When we pray God's word, we're praying a powerful thing. We're praying his word back to him and he will he will honor that so start there begin praying and then just see where god god takes you from there so as we close out yeah. pastor david would you like to pray for us that we would we would have that boldness and do that today i would love to awesome i'd love to uh we're just gonna bow our heads and pray heavenly father we we thank you uh god that right now um you're with us uh god that you have given us faith god you've given us salvation you've given us hope you've given us light uh and father just like your scripture said Uh, When something's lit, we don't hide it. Uh, God, that we would be people, we pray, uh, that our light would shine, uh, that people would see our good deeds and how we live our lives. God, that we'd be people of action. So much so, God, that when people see us, they praise you. God, that they have a desire to know you, God, to turn towards you, to turn their eyes towards you. God, forgive us for moments uh, when we distract from that, when we're not bold, God, when 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 we hide or maybe we take the wrong actions. Uh, God, forgive us for those moments, but God, give us strength, wisdom, and clarity even today to share our faith, God. We pray for their brothers and sisters around the world right now. Uh, they're faced with life and death decisions about being bold in their faith. God, give them strength. Build them up. God, build up your church on courageous people, uh, not courageous on our own power, but through the power of your Holy Spirit working through us. God, we invite you to help us to be people to take action, Jesus. We ask this in your name. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you all for joining us. Thank you, Pastor David, for joining us today. It's been good to have you guys. Uh, Don't forget, if you're looking for more information on the return or what we're going to be praying about today, just go to the nas.church slash prayer, and you'll find a helpful guide there along with links to the return page where you can find the prayer guide and everything that's going on. Uh, We pray that God will bless you and that you'll have a great day. We love you, Naz family. See ya.